The pilot run for motorcycle taxis like Angkas, Move It, and Joyride terminates two months before its supposed end. Interagency Technical Working Group head Antonio Garjola Jr. says Monday, January 20, their recommendation to terminate the pilot run is endorsed by Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade. We are resorting to legal having marauding sa nangyayaring ito. Nag-iimpid ang stand. We cannot gather data because of actions being undertaken one of one players. So it's better to terminate it. The termination comes after two courts issued temporary restraining orders against the guidelines of the pilot run on the biker cap the TWG imposed. Senate Public Services Committee Chair Senator Grace Poe says Congress cannot be pressured to craft a law to legalize motorcycle taxis without basis. In a Senate hearing Monday morning, she encourages the public and private sector to file cases against the termination and advised the TWG to convene and consider the termination within the week. Poe also advises the three motorcycle taxi providers involved in the study to communicate with the Senate before filing a lawsuit against the TWG. Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Año orders a stop to visiting hours to danger zones around the rest of Taal Volcano Monday, January 20. I don't see the logic of uh, giving uh, four hours when in fact you don't even know when it will uh, erupt and a matter of minutes everybody will die. Anyo earlier allowed local government units to set up the visiting hours for humanitarian reasons, but now says it is time to be very strict to ensure their safety. Meanwhile, the Department of Social Welfare and Development or DSWD says there is a deluge of food donations received by evacuation centers around the province of Batangas. DSWD Assistant Secretary Anton Hernandez says donors must now focus on providing hygiene kits to evacuees. The DSWD also raises the lack of sanitation facilities in evacuation centers. Because of this, the national government has requested the military to construct more toilets for those displaced by the eruption of the Taal volcano. The volcano started erupting on January 12. It is still on alert level 4, which means a big explosion may happen within hours or days. The 14-kilometer radius danger zone is still on complete lockdown. New Police Chief Archie Gamboa Ice establishing a Chinese desk to curb rising crime committed by Chinese nationals in the Philippines. We will be establishing probably a Chinese desk and cross training on language, on the culture, so that as a if it pushes through, it will not be the first Chinese desk in the PNP. The Anti-Kidnapping Group, or AKG, set up its desk in early January. The AKG handles the most sensational cases, kidnapping and extortion. PNP AKG says the number of kidnapped Chinese rose by 71% from 2018 to 2019. Thousands of Chinese workers have flown to the Philippines amid the rise of online gambling operations, influx of infrastructure projects run by Chinese businessmen who hire only Chinese laborers, and the warming of ties between Manila and Beijing under the Duterte administration. A mysterious SARS-like virus kills a third person in China. This comes after confirmed cases in South Korea, Thailand, and Japan. The third fatality fuels fears of a major outbreak as millions begin traveling to China for the Lunar New Year. The new coronavirus strain was first discovered in Wuhan in China and caused alarm because of its connection to Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS. SARS killed nearly 650 people across mainland China and Hong Kong in 2002 to 2003. No human-to-human -human transmission of the new virus is confirmed so far, but authorities say the possibility cannot be excluded. Britain's Prince Harry expresses great sadness as he and his wife Meghan give up their royal titles as part of a separation settlement with the Queen. It brings me great sadness that it has come to this. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Harry clarifies in the speech Sunday, January 19, they are not walking away, even after the settlement strips the couple of public funding and requires them to repay 2.4 million British pounds or $3.1 million of taxpayers' money spent on renovating their Frogmore Cottage home near Windsor Castle. He is also forced to give up the military titles and patronages he was awarded. A statement from the Buckingham Palace says, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will no longer receive public funds for royal duties 
and will not use their his or her royal highness titles as they are no longer working members of the royal family. In his speech Sunday, January 19, Harry says he feels utmost respect for Queen Elizabeth II, and they will continue to lead a life of service. Much of the British media interprets the ruling as the Queen's punishment for Harry and Meghan's breakaway. In December, Harry was seen talking to a Disney boss about Meghan's interest in doing a voiceover. There is also speculation about the couple teaming up with Netflix. Thank you.